Greetings and welcome, everyone. It's All You Can Geek Gamecast, episode 502. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gast, joined by Mike Sanidi. What's up? Corey Feinstein. Yo. And Tony Korkanakis. Yo. Welcome, guys. Welcome, listeners and viewers, to 502 of the Gamecast. I got it right this time, <laughs> unlike the movie cast. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. We're sorry about last week. Again, if you have listened to the movie cast, you know we had some personal stuff. Every, we just couldn't make it. So one of those rare times we did not have a podcast. It's faded. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, guys, kicking it off with what you've been up to. Um, I have to say, I haven't played too much games. It's been very busy for me. Uh, but I have played a little more of Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, and, man, the combat in that is just not fun. Like, why do people play this game? I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this game, and I'm going to probably hate on this game on every podcast <clears> that we can – we can we're gonna have um it is tucked behind it goes cover. from like, not acknowledging the game to now just acknowledging the game not so yeah but like why <laughs> is it so big spots. like i don't see it's a sandbox it does nothing Jim. well it's not, it does it's nothing sandbox. well it's People a like jack of all trades sandboxes. and none of it does as well that's it oh, people, that's don't, awesome. people don't want like i mean they just want good enough they want to be able to have the <laughs> freedom okay. to do things yeah, the combat, the shooting's not great. The driving's horrible. Uh, the story's <laughs> not great at all. I think the story's it's horrible. The story's work. funny in that game. It's not like, I wouldn't, it's not like an inter- funny. interesting, I think it's kind of funny. Yeah. <sighs> I think most of it is played for laughs, laughs I would say, the story in that game. Um, and you're supposed to, be, uh, you're to... supposed to be magnetized by Trevor's craziness. Yeah. It's supposed it's, to be like a crazy... A simulator. A, vi- a crazy, like, you know, Joker-like villain that's also yeah. one of the playable characters. I mean, people like games that aren't good, Jim. <laughs> it's, it's, that's out there. I mean, the people uh, like I games mean, that are just wacky, too. Like, you know, Farming Simulator is a game that people enjoy. Yeah. This is crim- yeah. Criminal Simulator. Yeah, you're supposed to just enjoy the open world that's like an action movie sandbox. It's not, it's not trying to be the best shooter. It's not trying to be the best driving game. I was trying to sell a billion copies. That's all. And drive their employees to the yeah, That's what they're doing. Yep. All right. Uh, so that's really <laughs> it for me, though. Um, I want to talk about that. Um, yeah, that's really it. So, uh, Tony, what are you even playing? Uh, let's see. Finish up Xenoblade Chronicles. Looks good. Um, nice. You know, just a uh, classic RPG at this point and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. happy I did that. Um, what else? Uh, went back to Bloodborne to play the DLC because I'm a glutton from punishment after finishing Dark Souls 3. Uh, and that's fun asterisk with like, uh, I've been playing this boss for a day and a half right now. And I just, <laughs> I probably spent like five hours trying to fight this fucking boss. Like I haven't had trouble with Juan since like last time I was playing Sekiro or something like that. But yeah, it's just absurd. Um, Definitely couldn't have played it when I was younger. Like I don't throw controllers, but this would have made me throw the controller oh. when I was yeah, younger. Yeah, this keeps up for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, but there's that. And then uh, played Smash Brothers because the new DLC character Min Min came out. Um, nice. Just tried her a little bit, but she's pretty fun. She adds like, arms. Arms, yeah. She adds a interesting dynamic where she can um, throw two simultaneous punches out, which obviously have really good reach. Um, so she has good like zoning opportunities and. A little Dalsham Edge Garden. Action. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's exactly it. Um, and it's annoying too, because like you could throw out one one arm, your know, arm, and before the first one even comes back, you could send out the other one too. So it's just like it, it, it you can really mess with your opponent's like mind games because it's like there's no other character in Smash that can really do that. So uh, pretty fun. Interested in trying it out uh, more in online. I was just doing some practice mode and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it for me. All right, Corey. Um, making my way through Final Fantasy still. Um, still? Of course, yeah, it's hard. Yeah. I get like a couple hours in there, and it's like the chapter I'm on is 16 right now. So okay, I'm, you're, I, close. I'm you're towards, close. Yeah, I'm you're towards close. the end, and I'm like I'm not playing anything else. I'm like trying not to play anything else until I can beat that, uh, because I want to make sure I get through that first, and then I can move on to other stuff. So I haven't like even bothered with the last of us two or anything like that which i i'm planning on playing i i do want to play it but um yeah so i'm gonna make sure i finish that game so yeah fun. yeah <laughs> but i i do want to finish this because I, I know i'm like at the end of um 
because I'm like about to rescue someone, and so I know I'm at the end, towards the end of this chapter, I think, and I think it's, it's like winding down, it seems so. Mm. Um, but yeah, no excited to see how this you know concludes and where we're gonna be picking up from uh, the next one, because it is weird that playing Final Fantasy and it's like, oh, we're just getting out of the first area, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh so yeah still cool. disc one. Yeah. Yeah. but uh yeah it's still playing a lot of games on tabletop simulator which i have to say is on sale i think still so oh that's right steam. you messaged me about that i didn't even look into that yet. yeah the so. steam summer sale stuff is going on uh, so I'll that grab that that's really good and because i've been playing so much of this stuff i'm like i kind of wanted to see how they make those mods so i like, spent like a, a good chunk of time adding a, one of my games to tabletop simulator oh yeah mm-hmm. Which is pretty cool. Like you can like they make it pretty, pretty simple. Like if you have some Photoshop skills and can understand some basic program stuff, like you can just you can get stuff in there. And then if you want scripting, then you got to know scripting and stuff like that. But if you just want to get stuff in there and then mess around with it, you can, which is pretty cool. So I'm excited to try to mess around with that a little bit more too, actually. Mm. Cool uh mike um so i've been playing i, I kind of stopped but you know within the two weeks i've played more of master chief collection and i had a nice old school uh online play thing i don't know there's no way in that game to easily like mute a single person like on the fly mm-hmm. like you can in modern most <laughs> modern online shooters so i had a nice <laughs> I didn't interact, I just listened, but it was still super annoying. There was this girl who sounded pretty drunk, and she was being super obnoxious, and then an equally stupid kid just, like, drops the N-bomb at her. And then she goes off on him for saying that, but for the whole, and calling him, like, a small-dicked virgin for the rest of the entire match. And him, he, he, this kid, like, clearly he's not very creative, because that's where he went to first. It's just like, you sound fat. And that was it. It was the worst, like, the worst. It's like, oh, this is why people hated this back in the day, playing online. Yep. It's just like, yep. oh, my God. So that was fun. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to share that very retro online experience for me. Um, and then I've been bouncing back and forth now, actually, between uh, Yakuza Kiwami and Yakuza Zero. Um, apparently, I've been looking Going up. back. Zero. Yeah, because Zero has a little bit more to it, uh, and I pretty much exhausted everything I can do in Kiwami. Um, I, this, Kiwami 2 is supposed to come to Game Pass too, and most projections, they thought it would be out like months ago, but it might have been COVID delayed, so I'm still waiting on that to happen. Um, I'm actually looking forward to it. I don't know beyond that. I don't think they do any more Kiwamis. I think the, it gets kind of recent after that. I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to continue following the series at all. Since then, I know the new one is turn-based, which kind of turns me off. But, uh, you know, we'll see. I'm, I'm just looking forward to Kiwami 2. Uh, hopefully they can get that out pretty soon. Um, cool. Yeah. That's about it. Cool. All right. Uh, let's get into the news, guys. Um, let me get it open here. Mm-hmm. Sorry. <clears throat> we go way back. Way back. Yeah. Well, let's start off with let's start off with the lead. I mean, we can start off with Mixer, not the lead. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I, there's so much news that happened. I actually uh, we'll start off with Mixer, I, Microsoft. Yeah, to celebrate the de- death of it, I actually put a little bit of my uh, Kiwami gameplay on Mixer, titled mm-hmm. "I Hate Haruka," which is a character in Kiwami you're supposed to love, but <laughs> so, she uh, I, creates annoying fetch quests constantly, and I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the biggest issue I have here is like they let facebook buy it pretty much and it's like go to facebook gaming and i'm like is this going to be more integrated than twitch is in the future no, consoles or... it's not one. okay no it's okay, uh, they're, they're getting out of it completely there's, just there's entirely no, okay there's no integration with xbox okay yeah. i mean so this is really shitty i mean you know yeah. jim i know you like to uh throw google under the bus for not supporting yeah, stuff yeah. but uh microsoft's pretty bad about it too um, oh i know so uh kind of a huge blow I, I believe to the gaming division i mean even though it's like more streaming but i mean you had mixer integration on xbox super like, easy they, like, I, like i said like on a whim i just did that yeah 
and you know they paid Ninja what thirty million dollars like oh, it was a like year 50. or two ago or fifty no, something no, like that. This, this was, was months 30, ago. Thirty million dollars. Thirty million dollars. Oh, yeah. I thought, I thought yeah. I was like, I, this was just months ago they did that. It was not that long ago that they. they it was well, before I thought, COVID. It was before COVID. Yeah. So, like yeah. I think it was like almost a year now, right? Uh, I don't know. I I feel like it, it feels might have shorter been... because time does, time time doesn't move the same way it does once once quarantine hit. <laughs> it doesn't flow know. properly anymore. Yeah, but I feel but... like it was around like maybe September, August, September. Yeah. Um. But yeah, in August, August first. Ah, so, yep. so almost a year. But yeah, the um, like I know one of the big Destiny Borderlands streamers uh, was he moved to Mixer and now he's on Facebook Gaming. So he went right, to, I guess a transition, but I see your Twitch going back to being a lot of people. What's really crummy is that they didn't really notify a bunch Any of the, the smaller people. No, or the no. streamers. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't um, even know what the employees know. The Mixer employees yeah. found out from like. <laughs> The Twitter, part, like shit. the PR, yeah, it's like what? Social media. Uh, so you got to wonder if they did the same thing. Did they do the same thing with their stores? Because now they're closing their stores down. Yeah, well, I don't know. Just uh, zero for two for Microsoft for the last two weeks. Yeah. Uh, again, you know, uh, I just like to go back to a couple years ago. So I like, you know, future of Xbox, not looking too pretty. I mean, we'll see. They have they have the okay. Series S coming out, but I, I feel like if this one doesn't put up numbers again. They're done. They're just going to pull out. Maybe. Maybe. Um, Star Wars Squadrons was officially shown. We Obviously, mm. it was the week before. Yeah. Uh, we got a pricing of $39.99. And uh, it's supposed to have a single-player campaign, but I think it's more like... I, I got the vibe that it's a bit more focused on the multiplayer yeah, aspect of 5v5. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Is. Oh, that's the long term. Probably like the single-player yeah. is more probably just like teaching you how to play the multiplayer. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. He's got a good story. EA. I'm playing. Props to yeah. EA. Lower price point, no loot box transactions, anything like that. So. I just, now. I don't believe it. <laughs> I fully do not believe it. <laughs> It'll come. Okay, I mean that's got to go with what he's got. I, I, mean, I understand, <laughs> but I'm uh, I don't understand why they release a forty dollar game that's like set up to be customizable and you know multiplayer long term without. There's some way they're gonna get you. There's it's going to monetize it in some manner, sure. They have to. That's that's the way the industry is going. I mean, yeah. the uh, new thing is companies. like the new the new thing seems to be didn't say oh there's no loot boxes, but now there's these shitty battle passes, which I think are worse to be honest, because there's no chance if you're not paying to get a lot of content. Then there was always a chance with loot boxes or most loot boxes. It, but... it depends on how much you play. Because if you do the battle pass, you play a shit ton, you're going to get everything. If you play a shit ton, you may not get what you want. With no, no, but I just mean with loot boxes, you could you have a chance of getting like higher level stuff. Small chance, but you can mm-hmm. get. With yeah. these battle passes, it's all walled off. I don't know. But we'll see, I guess. But I don't know. For me, I'm a little disappointed that it's you know cockpit view only. I, I get why, because they have all these instruments you're supposed to read, but... Then who cares kind of what the outside looks like? <laughs> yeah. Gotta get know. you I, into the I'm, feel of being in that cockpit. I'm very psyched to have a space shooter uh, style thing, like an X-Wing TIE fighter kind of game. I don't know if that's what we're going to get. Uh, but it seems I, more that than Rogue Squadron, which is a little disappointing to me, but I know a lot of people yeah. like that I'm, style. Yeah, more. I love the X-Wing TIE fighter games. Now, I don't think it's going to be as in-depth as the, those games. Those were like, you can angle your shield, you can do all that kind of stuff, power well, stronger weapons. This is, you know, 20 years, 20 plus years later, it should be better. I mean, should I think it's going to mix. I think it's going to mix the two. I think it's not going to be as simmy slash arcadey. It's going to be like in the middle. I think it's going to be both. So, all right. Um, PAX West 2020 will be online, free for everybody. So, obviously, we're not going to PAX. Mm-hmm. Might as well have it online. So what, is what does that mean? mean though? Like they're gonna yeah, have panels that you saying. can just like it's, watch. It, that's all it is, right? It's just online panels. Like yeah, yeah, it'll be online panels, which reminds me, I completely forgot. Like they're gonna do the fandom uh, DC thing. I forgot all about that in the last episode, but we're gonna get into that here a little bit. But yeah. uh, uh, that's August twenty second. I'm 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 gonna. I Matt so Matt and I are planning on like attending that like a convention. I was gonna have him come over here. We're gonna make some food. It's gonna be like a party convention kind of thing. I think. <laughs> oh, maybe. Maybe I'll get some Gatorade Everclear. <laughs> <laughs> one of oh those old boy. days? <laughs> yeah, old school. Home, oh, like, what am I supposed to be doing? 
Oh, the clown, baby. About falling over people. Yeah, I know. Uh, but yeah, it, uh, I'm pretty psyched actually to have some conventions and stuff like this online, at least to be able to attend. Um, I'll be I'll be checking this out a little bit because I, I haven't been to PAX in so long. Um, you have to obviously see what panel you want to go see. I'm, I'm hoping there's interesting panels. That's what it is. Uh, so, you know, the yeah. DC stuff sounds awesome, but we're going to get into that in a little bit. Um, so happy, happy they're doing something, though, and it's free, which is cool. Um, yeah. I also put on here uh, last week was the Re- Resident Evil 8 news came out as to why that's only next gen. Um, basically, that's because of the load times. Um, they couldn't. The game is apparently more open than previous games and it was causing a lot of loading issues uh and because it was so easy to get it running perfectly on the next gen consoles they decided to just forgo the pre- last gens so that's it that's what they, that was the reasoning don't want to put in the effort all right yep they don't want to put <laughs> that the might, might be the old uh, time to bust out the old fuck capcom slogan again <laughs> dust that off a little bit <laughs> hold up it's one game Let, let's see if they keep no, I, I know i know I, I said i said maybe you know it's like it, I, at least now i'm like eyeing it in the closet might be like all right let's see another game or two definitely gonna dust it off and uh, start using it again but like come on i mean resident evil was notorious like they had like the whole door transition sequence was to hide loading so like yeah. don't tell me you fucking can't <laughs> you, you can't put that on the existing systems because of fucking load times like it's such a I don't know, it's such a bullshit answer, and it's like, look, I get it. Just say it's our artistic vision to, like, you know, whatever. They're, they're, yeah, I mean, their reasoning seemed kind of peculiar because they're talking about, like, villages. You're in a lot of villages. And I'm like, we've been playing video games with villages for a long time where you can walk in through a hut and or a, a place, <clears> and it doesn't have to load. Right. So don't tell me that shit. Yeah, they, it, if, you, if you can't program it, just admit it. If, you're, if you can and you're just being lazy, then just admit that. Yeah. Um, but... So. I have a feeling there's money hats involved somewhere down the line. Oh, probably. Probably. Because again, um, they, need some, they need to sell the new system. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Because again, end of June. End of fucking June. All right. So we got July, August, September, October, November. We're five months away from when these fucking new consoles should be released, right? I mean, we're just assuming yep. November. And we hardly know any information about them. Five yeah. months. Five fucking months. Oh, I mean, that's release we can game? talk about it real quick. I mean, re- apparently I mean, Xbox they're doing the whole Sega S- Saturn thing, man. This is gonna release yeah. it, and nobody knows about it's, it. Ed, you can buy it today. Uh, Xbox Series S was supposed to be in this month, and they removed it to August. So we're going to be getting the next gen console for the low, the entry level console for Microsoft, apparently in August. I heard some leaked specs for that. There's a lot of flack that they're getting for that thing. Basically, it's a four. What is it four? What do they call those things? Teraflops. I don't know. Uh, the the graphical power thing, and it's just basically a faster processor. Um, yeah, it's like a Xbox One X, apparently, or yeah. something like that, which is yeah. you know, fine. Which is fine if it comes in at you know whatever it's going to come in. At. I don't know, three ninety nine. They're three ninety nine. Oh god, I froze. I froze. Is this going to be the three ninety nine? Maybe. I doubt it. Yeah. Something's coming out at three ninety nine. I don't know, man. Not not it might not be good, but something's got to. <laughs> this better be three. This just this has got three. This is two ninety nine all over it, really, in my opinion. But this not this if you're gonna this, call con- it a series this something. I know, but like, if it's not much more powerful than the one X, like, the one X is two ninety nine. I would make a bet that nothing launches at two ninety nine. Oh yeah, there's I know. no way nothing. This, yeah, there's no way. This is their three ninety nine. This is their. If it doesn't have Nintendo's like, name on it. It's not like hitting two ninety nine. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> But three ninety nine, sure. Maybe. Let me yeah. hit three ninety nine. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What did we have last week? We had Pokemon Snap. Was that announced the week before? No, it was last last week, right? New Pokemon Snap. No, it was two weeks ago. It, we had it on the podcast. No, we didn't talk no, about no. it. It was after. It was like right after the exactly. podcast. Exactly. Yeah. So we had. That's what I'm saying. We had po- the yeah, new yeah. Pokemon announced. People are psyched for that. You know. Yeah. Like, I long I, time I coming. Love that game. That was yeah. amazing. Yeah, and like, I remember thinking, like, are you kidding me? You're going to put out a Nintendo 64 Pokemon <laughs> game and it's not a freaking Pokemon game? That's yeah, what yeah, I remember it, thinking. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like, oh, fine, whatever. See, yeah, see, I actually played this, though, because... I didn't oh, you played Pokemon, Pokemon Snap? Snap? Yeah, well, my brother, it was for my brother, mostly, but I played it, too. I, knew oh, I, oh, I thought you weren't into Pokemon. I'm not. That's why. This oh, game is okay. a really good Pokemon game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's fair. I... 
and I'm psyched to see it. Like, uh, it's really awesome news that they're making that. So, uh, they announced a Dota style game as well for mobile gaming, which is weird because Nintendo also mentioned now that they're getting out of mobile gaming. Mm. Uh, but they're, it's I, I associate Pokemon with Nintendo, but I know it's not Nintendo yeah. gaming. Just, uh, yeah. It's just weird to hear that news in the same kind of week. Well, you know, the thing is, like, Pokemon Company is doing their own thing because, you know, biggest IP in the world or whatever bullshit. Um, so Tencent was like, hey, we'll make a, you know, MOBA game. And um, let's be clear, this is aimed at, aimed at the uh, Asian market. I mean, that's what it's going to be about. And anything, anywhere else is China. gravy. Right, exactly. China, China specifically. Anywhere else is going to be gravy. So, um, you know, whatever. People are going to be upset. That's People were upset. Just They'll be upset at anything these days. So, you know, whatever. Um, but, yeah, new Pokemon Snap should be cool. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, back in the day, for the N64 version, you could, like, bring your cartridge to, like, Blockbusters and, like, yeah. you could print out pictures that you had, like, saved in the game. And, like, as a team, I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like, you know, whatever. And, like, I saw, like, a, a tweet where somebody actually purchased a kiosk from, mm. you know, whatever, like, garage sale or something wow. like that. Wow. So that's cool. I wonder if they'll, uh, you know, have some kind of, like, export feature this time so you can... So much easier somehow. now, I'd imagine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So that's cool. Sure. Uh, another news, uh, we've got some teasing from possible from the, arc, the Batman game, and now it looks like Rocksteady is making a Suicide Squad game. Mike, how do you yes, feel about this? Another, this is Come another on. grain of salt just because of all the bullshit. But <laughs> there, uh, there, again, this was widely reported by you know a lot of people. Um, yeah, this so is yeah. happening. This is happening. The Suicide Squad. Basically, this is based on domain names mostly. And another one. Well, of no, domain- this one. This one I bet on. I bet if you want to make a bet. That it's, I would bet that this is a Suicide Squad game. Gotta get like, that absolutely. tie-in with that well, movie. No. Well, so this is what I think it probably is because, you know, we remember when Schreier said it's not a Batman game in a way where it's like it's kind of related when he yeah. talked about what Rocksteady was making. So this yeah. makes sense. And actually one of them is Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League was one of the domain names. Or Kill, kill the Justice League, yeah. Yeah, I guess not grammatically correct, but whatever. Well, apparently yeah. there was a series <laughs> called like or it's, Suicide Squad is. versus the Justice League. I'm just like, I think about something like Suicide Squad. Like how on earth are they taking on the Justice League in any capacity? Like realistically. <laughs> well, that's why I think, but I think that's what the like, game's about. I think what's you're Deadshot like, going to do against I think Superman, you're hunting the Justice League. Wonder Woman, Green Lantern... Like, what are they gonna do? Yeah, What's Harley Quinn gonna do? Yeah, they're like the boys. Squad kind of sucks, but um, yeah, but that, they're like the boys. Like they're meant, I think that's the point of the game. I think it's hunting no. the Justice League. Well, well, that's coming out in August, I think. So, I know. Uh, no, September fourth. Oh, September. So we will see. Um, anyway, it is like sort of obviously a Team mm. DC game, which was always a theory. Uh, everyone thought that this game was, you know, what Montreal was working on. Yeah, and it got canceled. So I'm not sure what happened there. If any truth was to that old rumor or not, but I'm a little disappointed. I would prefer an actual Justice League game. Uh, Suicide Squad is kind of over in my mind a little bit. I don't really mm-hmm. care about them. They kind of suck. Uh, but you know, I also trust Rocksteady, even though you know they've made two games really, <laughs> but um, or three, but. Eh. We'll see, I guess. It's probably true, though. And then the other thing would be that they do expect, you know, Montreal to do a Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights, yeah. That's what it's called. Which, coincidentally, people who liked Origins multiplayer, uh, they finally ended the, uh, every version of its servers went down, like, recently. Which leads me to believe that this game is going to lean heavily into that type of multiplayer. Especially, I, looks... Especially with the whole faction idea that we got from, like, all the teases and stuff. You know, you got the GCPD, you got, like, League of Shadows, Capture the Night being a... Is it League of Shadows, not League of Assassins? Whatever, one of those. (laughs) I'm I'm surprised if they went with the Shadows and not the... This is, like, the Court of Owls. Court of Owls. Yeah, so I think this could be maybe not primarily, but it could be very uh, focused on that type of multiplayer game which some people i think are going to be really disappointed in too uh but, that would be me but um uh, i don't know so i'm uh, we're gonna find out we're gonna find out august 22nd at the dc fandom i mentioned earlier is fandom 
We think so, right? Let's not confirm yes. that this is going to be an, the stuff well, is going to be cleared up there, but I you would think, think. They they're going to talk about them there. I think they confirm that. Yeah, I think. I, I mean, think they confirm they're going to be. Talking what else are they going to have? You know, like you got it's DC. You have comic books, video games, uh, and movies. So, uh, I just hold my breath with these announcements with them now. Yeah. You know, there's been <laughs> the so many times. Things, though, Mike. It's the same uh, thing though lately. Well, they're no, no for them. They just never announce anything. Uh, let's see. It's whatever. Yeah, I don't know. They're uh, they're still reportedly. They're not confirmed that they're going to be announcing it, but it's it's all reported. Mm-hmm. Um, all reports. Uh, Game Rant. Everybody's talking about that. So, all right. Uh, let's see what else we got. Somewhat related. Oh, did you put what's this Mortal Kombat? What did you put one. on this one? Well, Ed Boon posted a bunch of Marvel characters and tweets, and people are theorizing he's mentioned before he wished he could do a Marvel type game or even a crossover. So people are like, is this actually going to happen? Is he going to get, like, Marvel characters with Injustice or have a Marvel vs. DC game or just have a Marvel fighting game? I don't know. but I don't see Marvel DC ever happening. But It's happened in the comics. I know it's happened in the comics, times. but I don't think they're going to have... Like, just, I don't see it happening in the video game. I could see, like, a Marvel game if they wanted to do that, but... I don't know. So, But, but anyway, that's <clears> obviously... But, you know, Ed Boon tweeting some of that stuff, people start theorizing. So I just found it interesting. I would love that, obviously, but I'm not going to hold my breath about that, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, in other not so good news, the gaming industry has been just like crazy right now with all the sexual misconduct cases that we found out about. Like, it's been nuts. Like, IGN. Floodgates, man. Floodgates. Uh, Twitch had the whole, Twitch, like, not just streamers, but Twitch itself, the company. Uh, had a bunch of uh, cases against it. Like, uh, what what else am I missing? Here? Ubisoft, Ubisoft. Uh, not only just allegations, yeah. but also how the companies are handling the, the allegations. It was like yeah. ignoring it entirely. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. the, who was it? The producer for um, Assassin's Valhalla. Creed, Valhalla, stepped down. Uh, yeah. Basically, and this is like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna suck. I don't know if you guys read the story about that, but like that guy's a fucking douchebag. Like, no, yeah. no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so what's like crazy basically. is um this kind of all started with like the Destiny community as well. Like really? Know, yeah, so like there's a the, there's like talk about this guy um who is a total douchebag and one of the like this guy tweeted out saying like oh everybody's talking about this douchebag blah blah but we all know this other significant guy is the real douche or whatever and so that tweet just started this whole chain of events where he got outed. And then, like, all these other Destiny people got outed as either um, sexual predators, uh, passing around, like, underage women pictures. Oh, my God. Um, and also, like, a whole group of people got outed as, you know, DDoSers and hackers and swatters. Jesus. And, Jesus um, Christ. So this all came out, and then all of that shit was going on. So all these other people started, like, talk, telling about their stories and, like, putting out their stuff. Like, hey, like, this happened over here, and this has happened over here. So, like, it just, like floodgates like crazy um so that that's it's it's just like a big mess and now um yeah and dr disrespect is banned from twitch yeah i was yeah. never a fan of that guy i think he yeah. was Suck that same guy. he's a douchebag yeah Ooh, I mean, I, douche I get some people you know can enjoy the the humor of it i just don't think it's funny i think it's just rude obnoxious and i mean not really if i was like 12 maybe want. maybe i'd find it funny but yeah it's but... like as a parent like i don't want my small children accidentally stumbling upon somebody who acts that way so yeah i mean not yeah. to mention like i think <clears throat> recently he was like a fucking um conspiracy like a 5g conspiracy like oh covid you know blah blah, blah. i'm just like <laughs> dude like just, you know, just stick to games then. Just stick the, to games. Yeah. yeah. Biggest yeah. thing is the biggest issues is very much like the the Me Too movement, like where it's like these people in power, like are abusing this power to take advantage of other people, which is really disgusting. I think it was like, like the, yeah, the best thing. Yeah. You know, one of the um, podcasts I listened to had the same like comments about like you know you got to think about like these people that are doing this were probably those. Those same people that were picked on and, and terrible people like in high school, and now they're in this position of power, and they're just abusing that power, which it's unfathomable to think about because they know, like they've been through the shit, like you know more than likely, and yet here they are, becoming what they hated, uh, and it's just unbelievable that uh, that they have that 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 imp- impact on this gaming world that um, 
you know, we all want to enjoy and be that whatever, you know, male, female, whatever, uh, you know, you should be able to be comfortably working or gaming in this environment. It's unbelievable. Like Tony, I was, who was, oh, Mike, you were talking about that same story where you were playing your game as yeah. what we went up to. It was just, mm-hmm. yeah, again, like, and I'm not, I feel like both sides are wrong here, but you know, everyone thinks they're justified in their own story. So that's part sure. of the problem. Sure. But yeah. yeah. So, Oh, it's bad news for the gaming it's world. So, hey, you know, it's got to come out and hopefully it can get better. That's the idea. Mm, it's all like, and, yeah. Hopefully we can uh, learn and, make it better yeah i mean you remember a couple of years was it two years ago where like somebody from like an ex naughty dog developer developer came out and said that he was like sexually harassed he followed a suit mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden they couldn't they were like oh we have no documentation on that it's like really yeah. like you don't have documentation that's like wow that's, yep. yeah and it's it's hard because like you if you know something but it's not your story like where do you like how do you like not tell it like but at the same time, you can't tell because it's not your story to tell. Like right. you don't know how these people feel and how they're going to react to it being out there and the and stuff. And so, I like, guess the thing is that's like it seemed like, especially in the Destiny community, because I'm more in tune to that. Almost everybody in the community like knew about stuff that was going on, but it wasn't saying yeah. anything because the people that were affected didn't want it to be out in the open as well. And it's like I don't know, it's just kind of compounding the issue a little bit. Yeah, but we're not talking about time, it. You're just making it work. Right, because right. the thing is, like, I get it, like, you know, uh, I can never understand how it feels to be, like, a victim of that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. um, technically, and hopefully I, I never will, but, like, the thing is, like, if it happens to you, you know, I, I understand not wanting to make things harder for yourself, obviously, because, as we can see, a lot of people that do come forward uh, get targeted for whatever reason, and mm-hmm. potentially ruining their careers or opportunities and stuff like that down the road, but, like, um, by not speaking up, you're just enabling your abuser to do that to others, right. Um in yeah, the future so and like that's the thing is like you know like going back to the assassin's creed uh director like he was doing it to like all these women and it's like mm-hmm. cool dude like so you I was married attached to too. One... <laughs> right right and not only that he was like using like stories of like his dead son to like you know manipulate these women mm-hmm. to like sleeping with him i'm just like damn dude like you're a fucking scumbag oh like, one of the uh, destiny streamer guys he was telling people he was having, he had cancer uh, so he could sleep with girls <laughs> And then he would pass pictures around in a private Discord to people. It's amazing. Jesus it's like, Christ. I, where do these people come up with this stuff? It's it's ridiculous. These people just need to like fuck off, like into the sun, mm-hmm. shoot them off into the sun. Like I'm sorry, it's crazy. Ugh. Yep. So let's right. pick it up, Jim. Let's let's uh, go on, move on forward. Anybody check out the cyberpunk uh, stream? No, I didn't see the stream. It, I've I've only saw reactions to it from okay. specific people. <laughs> Did anybody see the character customizations? Apparently, they did you guys see the reports on that? The pubic hair, right? Pubic hair. Uh, you can adjust that. Like, yeah, genitalia There's, sizes. The, the, uh, I heard the three options were vagina, uncircumcised, and circumcised penises. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, it's just like I was watching the videos from IGN of what they were going over with it. The customizations aren't like slider risk; they're like pre-made stuff, so it's not like super customizable. Uh, the game though looks um, really good. I mean, really fun. I'm trying to watch a lot of it because I'm gonna get the game. I'm gonna play it. Uh, um, yeah, it's gonna be. Are you trying you know, to watch a lot, or you're trying not? To I'm watch not it. gonna watch. I'm trying not to lot. Not not to watch a lot. Yeah, apparently uh, the last the Jedi playbook. opening, the opening yeah. section though was. It's like the entire like opening section that they played pretty much, like introductory, but still. It was the first like four hours. So yeah, that's it, they played. Substantial. Um, Oh, it is. So, you know, I watched it, though. Like, it looks great, uh, you know, hopping on vehicles. The, the combat looks fun. The bullet time stuff. It looks really cool. Um, so I'm, I'm interested in it. But uh, It's still my most anticipated game of this year, if it ever actually comes out. Um, it's not? Mike, it's not Avengers? No. No. Did, did you guys watch that? Uh, everyone's making jokes about the frame rate. Uh, I'm going to make jokes about the c- combat, like... I, I watched the uh, war room with that, uh, and I didn't watch all of it. I just you know, I got I, bored. Like I, I got bored watching Thor hammer a machine for in five minutes. I was bored. That's kind of uh, the thing with me too. Like I'm just not that interested in looking at this stuff anyway. Uh, I almost feel like the RPG aspects are well, might be more interesting than the combat. Like all of the different gears. Combat and stuff. looks extremely repetitive. 
and all that all the enemies are just kind of like generic robots it looks like yeah they look like generic robots and the game the problem i have with this game is you know they're releasing one, characters you only have one problem no the biggest problem okay sorry biggest problem <laughs> i have with this game is uh i know for a fact they're giving us these skins to make us buy the better skins when they release them like you cannot convince me anything make else. the base version as shitty as possible that's what they're doing what? these characters what? look terrible and you know that the only extra charges in this game will be skins like they're yeah. going to release new characters and regions for free so we're getting better skins and they're going to make us fucking pay for this stuff because these guys look terrible at least they're the game Buy the game. No, I know. I'm not going to buy this game. I'm not. The other, the other just... thing I worry about with this is we're going to get new characters, but how long is it going to take, and are they going to be story relevant? Yeah, so let's see. when they come out. Let's see. Mm. Based on how many years the game has been in development, and how many base characters are going to be, I mean, probably like maybe one character a year. I'm guessing. Who you knows? Yeah, that's pretty shitty. Oh, I missed that point. Because hmm. I, I mean, I mean, I've never been obviously the biggest fan of the traditional Avengers, but. I feel like at this point, everyone is ready for, like, you know, to revisit some of the other characters in the Marvel Universe, not just, you know, yeah, Iron play Man. Ultimate Alliance 3. Thor. I, I understand that. <laughs> and it's right there. And even that one that one uh, mode they mentioned, the uh, War Room, War Zone mode, sounds a lot like Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, honestly. It's yeah, just, yeah. Um, I don't know. I just, I want other characters in there. I don't. Mom. This just seems like it's just... This, this would have been more interesting five years ago. Like when what's everyone... the opposite of the... Per- yeah. Right. I was just, just going to say, like, what's the opposite of the perfect storm? <laughs> yeah. The, um, the imperfect sunny day? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. But, like, it just seems like, you know... It's like the wet fart. <laughs> this would have released, yeah. like, between Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame to get, like, the hype going. Because, like, I feel like right now, like... The Marvel Cinematic Universe is understandably in a lull. And it's just like, cool, so you're releasing an Avengers game way after Avengers, like the last Avengers, and before, like way before the next Avengers, or even like main Marvel movies coming out. Uh, it looks shitty. The gameplay looks boring. Like, yeah. Every, and what, and what's all the, the, char- what all the, the characters hook? look like off brand right. versions off of brand. the like cinematic Di- universe. Diet Thor and Diet Captain America. And, to, and at this Not point. Not even that. It's like RC Cola and. Yeah. <laughs> And at this point, after Endgame, is anyone really going to be invested in them teasing the death of Captain America in the beginning of this? Right. Like, like, like no. That's the thing. We, we like, just went through, like, a look, more emotional... No, but... I, he's, there's no way he's dead. Like, come on. Yeah. Like, even from the first story shot, I'm like, mm, yeah, he's not dead. And you see them stumble into controversy with the Captain America <laughs> statue uh, promotion. Uh, that yeah. Yeah. That was, <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Are we done with um twenty seventy seven as well? Cyberpunk? Did you... uh, we can go back to Cyberpunk. No, I'm just go asking ahead. if you're is that no, everything. i I was good with talking about it. I, I enjoyed the game look, but yeah, no, so. I'm I'm just looking forward to that. I, I still think it might end up being disappointing so much. Just too much hype surrounding that game, but I'm still looking forward to it for sure. Yeah. Yep. So I don't know. And then, then this Avengers game was very, un, 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 like, like I said, I just not, I'm not getting this game, you know, unless it gets great scores. I'm yeah, not going to be interested in seeing how it is, uh, but I'm not expecting too much from it. Yeah. So that's pretty much it for the news, guys. We had uh, cool. not much else. Some new, some rumors about Fable and Perfect Dark, but they're just rumors for twi- uh, on Twitter. And no, so that's, that's about it. So. Yeah, Somebody yeah I thought so. I thought it was too. So, um, yeah, that's it. So that's going to wrap up 502 of the uh, GameCast. Thanks for tuning in. You can write us podcast at All You Can Geek. Follow us on Twitter, All You Can Geek. Oh, sorry. Podcast at All You Can Geek.net. Follow us on Twitter, All You Can Geek. Uh, uh, oh, wow. oh, wow. I'm messing this whole ending up. Let's <laughs> wow. try this again. Train Follow right. us on Twitter at All You Can Geek. Like us on Facebook. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and the like button. Uh, we're like I mentioned on the movie cast, I want to toy around with some Twitch stuff. So, I, hey, I'm going to mention it here, too. Um, we're going to toy around some Twitch. I'm hoping to be on there for this next podcast. It's not giving us a deadline, but next few podcasts maybe will be on there at some point um, over the next couple weeks. Uh, I'm going to test it out and see. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. That's going to wrap up 502. Tune in next week. We will keep you guys updated on that. And uh, you know how my Grand Theft Auto 5 play is going. Thanks. Cool.